what the liberal arts, um, in a liberal arts education does for you, I mean, it's right in the title, it frees the mind. It frees the mind. Mm -hmm. It's learning how to think critically and creatively. It's learning problem solving. It's wrestling with the biggest questions, not only of our time, but of all time. It's being in an environment where you ask those questions in the classroom, yes, but you also ask them in the dining hall and you ask them when you meet an alumna. You ask them, it, it's mm -hmm. an environment that says, let's question everything and then let's discern what matters most to you. So in my experience, what do I know about a particular topic? What do I need to learn about it? How does it reshape my thinking? And then how do I take that learning out into the world? The liberal arts are fundamentally about equipping people with how to think. You learn how to think. You learn to find patterns. You learn to discern information. It's about how to think. It's not about teaching you what to think. Liberal arts colleges don't teach a liberal political philosophy. Liberal arts colleges free your mind to think for yourself. That to me is the most beautiful thing because we don't even know. I mean, the data are very clear. The majority of jobs 20, 30, 40 years down the road have not even been created yet. So how in the world am I going to teach you one skill that's going to ensure one technical skill that's going to ensure employment for the rest of your life. No one can do that, but we can teach you how to think, how to deconstruct knowledge, how to construct knowledge. Mm -hmm. And that's what the liberal arts do. So yeah, you are going to be equipped for your first job out of college, but mm -hmm. even more, you will know how to be equipped for every job down the road, even jobs, and I'm gonna to point to myself, I never even imagined this job, and yet my liberal arts education prepared me for it. If what you want is technical training and that's bringing you joy and helping you live your best life, I'm gonna be your biggest cheerleader too. But what I get frustrated with is people will often say, low income, first gen students of color, oh, don't bother with those liberal arts, that's not for you. When in fact, the entire mm -hmm. American higher education system was built upon the liberal arts. It was just for the wealthy and the elite. And now suddenly, as we're seeing the democratization of education and the demographic shift, suddenly it's not the right thing. And what I often ask, and I will confess, Cabretti have gotten in trouble for asking is, well, where did your child mm -hmm. go to college? And I will tell you right now that when I ask those people who say, well, low-income students should avoid liberal arts. Without fail, their kids went to liberal arts colleges. And so when someone tells you it's not good enough for you, but it was good enough for mm -hmm. their kids, you want to take a step back and ask some questions. And that's why yeah. I think that while I believe everyone should have a liberal arts education, I think those who have historically been excluded from these types of jobs, which often means excluded from leadership roles in corporate America and leadership roles in you know, public service. I think we particularly need the liberal arts college because it creates not only a learning pathway, it creates human networks of people that you have access to who have opportunities. So to me, it's really important that we advocate the liberal arts for all.